What's up, everybody? This is Jay, and this video is about Empire Season 5, Who's in the Casket Revealed. We've been waiting almost a year for this, half a year. Let's get into it. Now, when the Season 5 first started off in Episode 1, we saw Lucius Lulu sat in front of a closed casket, and it left us with a lot of questions because, of course, nobody know what happened to for him to be at this point this is the very beginning of the season and the only person there was becky and i guess she was ready for the repast and anyway needless to say he was looking pretty upset and then to top it off the federales them boys came with a bunch of questions to ask now they did have one fed agent there that we didn't see throughout the rest of the show and that also threw us for the loop and then later we saw that it was some type of blood involved or whatever so it kind of had us guessing and wondering all kind of different things the one that i thought was probably most likely because they said it is a lion that would be in there was andre now he was in prison in the beginning he we saw him uh, getting ready to go into some type of cardiac arrest and Cookie and Lulu were sitting there crying and we saw him flatline and then they never readdressed that again until finally the end of the season and so what we realized at the last episode is that he did flatline and die from having a heart attack he had planned on killing himself and uh he never got to fulfill that plan because cookie got there at the break of time and she said now my baby hit him again and lucia said hey, look here man hit him again man hey, that's my boy hit him again with the paddles man and once they did we saw andre get a little bit deep and uh he was back so it looked like it wasn't gonna be andre for a minute in the casket and so uh cookie and everybody is happy crying or whatever the case lulu yeah my boy mate he made it and she say yes you you tried to kill my baby and he said i didn't do that mate i was trying to stop him and so cookie was all upset because she found out that lucius knew that andre wanted to kill herself and lucius was somewhat supporting him reluctantly and she didn't of course listen to what he has to say but the flip side was kingsley okay and for those who don't know kingsley is who was in the casket now he'd been trying to be a lion for a while and uh we saw hakeem with his becky sweater on and uh he was telling kingsley to get out of here you don't want you're not really a lion you don't belong and so kingsley was leaving and right when he was leaving he saw uh his little pops paparazzi uh lulu and so he said you know come on sit down and so he sat down and they talked and uh they said well let's go out and get some air or whatever the case and so uh, as they went out to get some air, you know, Lucius looking like a, a Russian mafia with this Barishnikov uh, hat on and stuff. But uh, nevertheless, they kind of bonded for a moment. Uh, Kingsley was saying how he used to listen to the albums to see if Lucius even knew who he was. Meanwhile, he went to go visit his mommy and she getting ready to get released out the little rehab. And so uh, he's like, oh, are you ready? And she like, so what do you mean? You're supposed to give up? What do you think? And then he told her that uh, Andre was, you know, missing. He having heart problems. She say, how you know? You shucking and jiving for them over there? And then she smacked him and got all in his face like mommy dearest. And uh, she said, they don't care about you. They don't, you don't belong over there with them. You'll always be second behind cookies kids and so she's really crazy and she put all that hate that she had into lucius into him and she said you know he offered to give me two hundred dollars to get rid of you i should have just took the money and uh you know that really broke him right there and uh he was really hurt heartbroken because now he doesn't have a mother and he never had a father even though lucius ever since knowing that he was his daddy tried to reach out 
So, of course, Kingsley go to talk to Lucius. And Lucius say, not right now, man. I'm busy. I'm trying to get this proposal. And he scream, look at me. And so he look up now nah, because he know this boy is tweaking. You know, the little white kids be screaming at their parents. So he ain't used to this. And so Kingsley crying and everything. And he's saying, I lost my mother today because of you. And he pulled out the gun. And so right then and there, now Lucius is all hands on deck listening now because he didn't up that thing thing. And, uh, you know, Lucius is looking like, what the hell is this boy about to go shoot up a school somewhere? And so he's saying, you know, you wanted me gone. You didn't want any of this stuff. And he's telling all the lies his mama told him. And Lucius is saying, that's not true. I never said any of that. And so, you know, he's not believing it. It's hard for him. And then Lucius, he gets up and he's trying to calm him down. He say, you know, you want to be a lion? But anybody in my seed know you never pull a gun unless you plan on using it. So go ahead and give me that gun. But if you are going to shoot, shoot me right here in the middle of the head like a Hindu. And let him be able to give my son my heart. And so then he started to cry. And he realized you know he never really a make it and he said well is this acting like a lion and then next thing you know he pops the top and shoots himself in the head and Lucius, no man no and so we see him all sullen and sad face inside the hospital and uh he's talked to the doctors and they're supposed to be doing the organ transplant and then he's saying he did all the paperwork get signed or whatever and so they said yeah it should take no time then we see him back at home washing up in the sink and that's where we see the scene from the blood tie in and cookie is saying what did you do what happened and he didn't really get to explain it but that blood we come to find out was from king kingsley uh king of Lane. and so uh once we was at the hospital they went to check on andre they realized that the surgery wasn't performed. So we say, look here, man, who's supposed to be Oh, They're supposed to already had surgery. And then we see White Tracy come say, you killed my son. He's like, I wouldn't do nothing like that. And then she charged him like a feral mongoose about to tag, scratch his eyeballs out. And he tried to protect himself until the security come and get her off of him. And he's saying, you did that to our son. You fed him all them lies and hate. And so she's real pissed because really she did do that to him. She could have built a bridge, but all she ever did was try to keep them divided. And so she's crying and she's saying, you killed our son. And uh, Cookie like, uh, Tracy, right now, I just want to promise you that and she told Lucius to leave. There's a mother to mother that we didn't, we had nothing to do with that. And your son is the only one that can save my son right now. And please, as a mother, could you, you know, find it in your heart? And so she felt a little sad for her or whatever at the time. But she said, ain't nothing from my son going into your son to help you at all. Ever. And then she walked off and then Cookie was just devastated. Like, oh man, that was their only choice. And uh, it just walked out the back door. And so we see Andre and he's still uh, unconscious. You know, well, he's been in and out of consciousness, actually. He wasn't put under. And Cookie was praying for him while he was sleeping, asking God for some help. And uh, White Tracy was watching through the crack and saw, you know, she know how to get through cracks easy. And so she started crying and she said, you know, I, I'll do it. I'll help you. And uh, that right there brought them together. Cookie broke down and crying and happy tears this time. And as they was hugging, um, then she said, but it's going to cost you. Oh, yeah, it's going to cost you a lot. So I guess we'll see how much that's going to cost when the next season six comes. And then when they were getting ready to take the casket away, Lucia said, hold on, man. Let me look at him one last time. And so then uh, the five heartbeats put the casket down and open it up. And then Lucius go and look. And he's looking at him real good. And uh, I guess he, he looked really good considering he shot himself in the head. The excellent mortician. He said, look here, man. Here's my music. You go ahead and you listen to that. 
even though he ain't give him an iPod or, you know, MP3 player or, you know, headphones or a charger. He got the music. So then we see Cosby Jr. looking like a young Harry Belafonte. And as they taking uh, the casket out, then that's when the federales roll in and he trying to tell him, hey, man, he needs a little moment. Uh, it's, he just buried uh, somebody and it's a funeral. And then we see Angie come in. You know, Luis says, um, it's up to you. But I know you think everything is okay, but did you know that Cookie, she's with Dame Cross? Then he look and he's like, what? She's like, yeah, did you know they had a lot of late night meetings together? What did you think they were doing together in those late night meetings when Andre was sick? Hey, look here, man. I know you went after my wife and Dame and, and uh, Cosby. But to make up these lies, because you know how to use Photoshop, you're pathetic. And then he walks off. And so it ends up that they got a couple storylines coming up for season six. But this was one long, drawn-out storyline. And it was finally good to see it come to an end. Um, for those of you that guessed Kingsley... Congrats, uh, I can see on my last video in the comments. As the story went on by the second half of the uh, season, I figured it would probably be Kingsley too, but um, I, I figured it was either Andre or Kingsley, and it turned out that they were both connected somehow, some way. Um, it's good that Empire be back for season six. I'm wondering now, what are they going to do? They're losing so many characters. So Andre and Hakeem will still be on. But what about uh, Juicy J, a.k.a. Jamal? What's going to happen with him? Um, if you see my other video about the Empire Season 6 being renewed, then you know that his contract was renewed. They just don't, they say, have any plans for him in the series, in the show this season yet which means nothing all they got to do is make a plan and there he is so if he's under contract who knows in the end these last couple episodes were actually pretty good without him but he does have fans that probably won't watch the show without him and i'm sure that's the same way for everybody in the show I wouldn't watch it anymore without uh, Lucius and Cookie, a.k.a. Terrence Howard and Taraji. Now, you know, some people won't watch it without Andre or Hakeem or Jamal or any of that. But, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see how this show turns out. And uh, I want to see the comments. How many of you all honestly thought it was Kingsley? I mean, of course, in hindsight, everybody's going to say they thought so. But... Um, I thought it was Andre was probably about a 60% chance and maybe Kingsley at a 40% chance but I didn't start to really feel that way until after the first season first half of season five um, and after Lucius beat him up and found out all of that stuff then I started to put it together but up until then I thought it was probably 80% Andre um, his wife left the show and other things so it was pretty interesting to see it how it all turned out in the end um, i want to thank everybody that supports my work at patreon.com forward slash jmore reviews and also subscribe if you haven't already hit that like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one peace and i'm out